Here's how to make a ringtone for your iPhone using GarageBand. Now, if you're on your iPhone, it's easy to make a custom ringtone for your phone. All you need is the free app GarageBand. So you can see here GarageBand, I've downloaded it and installed it. If it's not already on your phone, just hop into the App Store and download and install it. And then after that, we need an MP3 to use as an example for our ringtone. So I'm just going to type in Pixabay here, which is a great uh, resource for free royalty free music. So you can see midway down there, I'll tap on that. And you can see there's a bunch of different songs on here. However, you find that MB3 or song doesn't really matter, but you're just going to want to download it onto your phone first. So let's hit that little download button and you can see it says, do you want to download? I'm just going to hit download. Now it is on my phone in the downloads folder on the files app. So after I've done that, let's hop into GarageBand here. On here, I'm going to swipe over to audio recorder and tap on that. Once I'm in this audio recorder, for some reason that's not. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's hop out of there and open up GarageBand again and tap on audio recorder. There we go. So now that we're on here, of course, we want to bring in that song. So towards the top left, you can see those gray bars with the like kind of spaces between them. So I'm going to tap on that. And then you can see towards the top right here is a little loop icon. So I'm going to tap on that as well. You can see it has a bunch of different Apple loops, but I don't want that. I want a file at the top right here. You can see files. I'll switch over to that and I'll hit this browse items in the files app at the very bottom. So this is the MP3 that we just downloaded. I will tap on it and you can see it should add it on here. There we go. Now I'll just touch and hold on it and I'll be able to drag it into GarageBand. So now I have this song in GarageBand. It's easy to transfer it over as a ringtone. Basically, at the top left, I can hit that down arrow and then hit My Songs. Now you can see it'll start exporting it here in the GarageBand Recents. You can see, there we go, 28.9 megabytes. Now that I've done that, I can tap on Hold on it and then just hit the Share button towards the bottom there. Now it'll give me the ability to share it from GarageBand over to my ringtone. So I hit ringtone here. I can name it whatever I want. And then I'm just going to hit export or I need to name it something else. Ringtone, my song too, and hit export. So now that I've done that, it'll export it as a ringtone. I'm just going to hit OK here and hop out of here. And I'm going to show you exactly where to find it. So let's go into your settings. Now, what we can do is tap on the sounds and haptics midway down. And you can see for ringtone, I can tap on that. And my song too, I can tap on it. That is the song that I just downloaded and installed. Here, I can turn it up so that you can hear it a bit more. But basically, that is the song that you can now use as your ringtone. Any MP3, just bring it into GarageBand, go through that process. Of course, if you wanted to cut and trim that specific song to have a specific portion, you can always do so before exporting it as a ringtone. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and we'll catch you on the next one.